Hello and welcome to another tutorial on statistics in SVSS. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to perform a Kendall Tau B correlation in SVSS. But first, let's have a brief overview on the concepts related to Kendall Tau B correlation. When do we use Kendall Tau B correlation? We use Kendall Tau B correlation when we want to know the relationship between two ordinal variables. When the normality assumption is not met, so we cannot use Pearson correlation, or when the data set is small. For example, we want to know the relationship between exercise intensity and optimism. These two variables are ordinal, each with three levels. Kendall's Tau B correlation is a non-parametric measure based on the ranks of the observations. And similar to other correlation coefficients, we want to know the direction, either positive or negative, the magnitude or strength, and the statistical significance of the relationship between the ordinal variables. Let's look at an example research question in which we can use Kendall Tau B correlation to understand the relationship between two ordinal variables. Let's look at an example. Imagine a researcher is interested to know if there is a relationship between exercise frequency and levels of optimism. The researcher randomly selects 15 participants and asks them how often they exercise and how optimistic they are towards their lives. Because the variables in this context are measured at ordinal levels, instead of the Pearson correlation, the researcher conducts a Kendall Tau B correlation analysis to find out how strong the relationship is between exercise frequency and levels of optimism. Now let's see how Kendall Tau B correlation can be conducted in SPSS over a data set related to this research question. Our data set consists of 15 participants which are measured on two variables, how often they exercise and how optimistic they are towards their lives. Exercise has been measured at three levels. So we have zero, it means they don't exercise, one, they exercise sometimes, and two, they exercise frequently. And optimism, zero, they are very pessimistic, one, moderately optimistic, and two, very optimistic. So if you look at the variable view, you can see there are two measures, exercise, the values, if you look at the values, so zero shows that they don't exercise, one represents some, and two frequently. And for optimism, again we have three levels. So zero, low optimism, one, medium, two, high. Now we want to know if there's a relationship between how frequent participants exercise and how optim optimistic they are. So we can go to analyze, correlate, bivariate. Our two variables are exercise and optimism and we want to know the relationship between these two variables using Kendall's tau b so we uncheck the other measures so Kendall's tau b and let's see how the relationship turns out here we can see that the measure Kendall Tau B between exercise
and optimism is about 62 exactly 0 0.6117 and we can see that at two tail the relationship is significant statistically so we conclude that there is a, a statistical significant correlation between the frequency of exercise and optimism and the strength of the relationship is 0.62 thank you for watching this video i hope it has been helpful to you